Hey, we are back. And, uh, right. A horse. Well, cool. Let's go ahead and just be a hipster and not ride that. How about? Do you think it's feasible to go through the entire game without using horses? I mean, there's teleporters pretty regularly, it seems like. I'm gonna do it. So long, glue face. You shan't be missed. All right, let's take a minute to figure out what the crap I'm supposed to be doing. This is another one of those magic Stonehenge things down here I'm supposed to go to and have another chat with my sister. I guess to report on how this conversation with Rice Toongard is going. I think on the top uh, anybody the else feel like here. that name should be a chocolate? No Just me? Talk, Nave. Mm, okay. What would you have me do? Rice did not jump for joy when he heard your terms, mercenary. Of whom do you speak? They call him Ho. Ah, gotta go talk to Ho. Neat. They knew how that sounded, right? Surely they knew. Jeez, there's a lot of lore here. I won't bore you with it. Let's just push on, go talk to my sister next, I suppose. There's also this large town down here, so I should stop off there. There's probably some merchants and quests and stuff. Maybe I'll be able to get a feel for how the larger population centers in this game are supposed to be. I'm not really expecting anything like Novigrad from The Witcher 3, but, I mean, considering the time period this game is from, this is actually kind of a huge map. And you mean to tell me this is all accessible without loading screens? That's pretty impressive. Keep in mind, folks, this is pre-Skyrim. Color me impressed. Another impressive thing is how far away you can see the world start to get rendered in. I mean, my PC is like a super high-end workstation in comparison to the gaming PCs when this game was released, but you can see how this game engine is designed to basically turn anything beyond a 3D rendering limit into a 2D matte painting, so you can get a feel for the horizon without taking a dump on your dual-core processor of the time. Pretty clever, and it works pretty well. Okay, so let's run down here. Oh, look, wolves. 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 Ugh. So, these are going to be the fallen of this game. Basically, the enemies I hate, not because they are frightening or difficult, but simply because they are obnoxious. New self-assigned objective, avoid or run away from wolves wherever possible. I hate it when you're not really given an effective way of disengaging from random encounters you don't want to waste time on. Like in Wild Hunt, you can just ride your horse. Well then. Crap. I don't care. I'm not riding the stupid horses. Okay, here's a city, I guess. Good day, ah, friend. quest giver. Do not confuse and a creepy dude. Ah, and a combination of the two. Loads of these NPCs are basically just telling me the same thing, which considering the era of RPG this comes from, that's probably not surprising. It does also kind of look like they weren't expecting me to be wandering around back here, which is why I'm going to do it. Honestly, I'm totally spoiled for fantasy RPGs by The Witcher 3. Every square millimeter of that game looks like it was deliberately styled by a graphic artist. Seriously incredible stuff. Welcome. Oh, another quest. Well, these all seem to be kind of in the same area, and it's sorta of in the same direction as the main story quest that is just tracking down my sister, so let's head south. And, oh, another quest. Ah, these guys are from that thing that the other guy told me not to affiliate with. Okay, I get it. There's guilds. I can gain reputation or lose reputation with them, which will probably unlock or lock certain quest lines and areas of the map. Good deal. That's pretty legit stuff. Uh, okay. I'm getting where ditching the horse might have been a bad idea. I mean, I probably could kill all this stuff, but the only serious motivation I'm feeling to do that is for looting purposes, and I'll run out of carry capacity pretty quickly and I'm nowhere near a merchant, so what's the point? Ah! Finally! Magic Stonehenge! It is yep, no yep, to yep. Them so? Let's move on. I've got another conversation next on the main quest, apparently, to say nothing of all the secondary quests I've picked up. So I guess we're just going to keep moving south. Run, 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 as fast as you can, your attention span is tiny, and I'll exploit that if I can. Yeah, I just rhymed can with can. Zip it. Hey! Old guy! It's... oh. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. That seems like the next few hours worth of main story quest covered right there. Now I just need to get down to this other city and find some freaking teleport pads so that I can sell this crap I'm carrying and go back and turn in these quests without having to waste all this time walking. There were teleports all over the place up by that village I started in. Where are they down here? Oh, lovely, another quest. She's gonna wind up being an enemy sorceress, isn't she? She- oh, uh, I guess not. Wow, where did that trope start if it wasn't around here? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna return to my teleportless walking simulator some other time. Maybe I shouldn't have left the dumb horse behind, but you know what? I'm too stubborn to give up now. 
If there were actual teleporters around here, I wouldn't be having such a hard time with- Oh. Wait. I have a portable teleport stone. Oops. 